What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel where we discuss cryptocurrencies and blockchain. So in today's video, we're going to be focusing on blockchain and also DAG technology. Both blockchain and DAGs record transactions on a distributed ledger, but they do it in slightly different ways. So we will go over how these work and also what are the pros and cons in this video. So let's talk about the structure. Blockchain is a distributed ledger or a database replicated over all nodes in the network. This distributed ledger forms a linear chain of blocks of transactions, which you can't change, which you can't alter. Transactions are bundled into blocks of transactions to be validated. Validated blocks are added to the chain of previously validated blocks. So by comparison, a DAG is a network of individual transactions linked to multiple other transactions. There are no blocks of transactions in DAG networks. If blockchain is a linked list, a DAG is a tree of some sort, branching out from one transaction to another, to another, and so on. So what are the pros of both? Well, blockchain offers transparency and immutability. It is also relatively well established being a basis of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and distributed applications, which are known as DAP platforms like Ethereum, for example. Blockchain offers solid guarantees and cost effectiveness for transactions of medium to high value. By scaling very efficiently and avoiding or reducing user fees, DAGs are well suited to high volumes of transactions, including micro and nano transactions. The higher the volume of transactions, the faster a DAG validates them. DAGs also cut out the need for miners and in turn mining equipment, meaning it results in lower energy consumption. So what about the real world? So I've invited Ian Friend, who's a COO of a company called Firm Network, and they've actually decided to go with a DAG technology instead of blockchain. So let's hear from him. Hey, hey Dom, thanks for having me on, first of all. Um, I love the topic you're covering um, because I think it's something that needs to be talked about more in, in the blockchain space. Um, you know, a lot of people think there's, there's really only one uh, mechanism for confirming transactions in a decentralized uh, ledger, but that's really not the case. Um, there's a number of different forms you can choose from, um, blockchain being the most prominent, but uh, DAG is also um, a technology a lot of projects are using, including Ferrum. Um, so the difference really between a, a DAG and a blockchain is, is you know, blockchain requires uh, miners, basically people running nodes, confirming transactions. Um, it usually, um, in the instances we've seen it really successfully implemented, um, takes a, a, a long time and it takes um, energy and um, it, you know it's sort of a laborious process um, to convert those transactions into blocks and then and assemble them into a chain um, for lack of a better word. A DAG um, does away with miners okay. um, and instead uh, uses previous transactions to confirm the other transactions. Um, the inner workings of it, I'm not technical, so um, you know, you're probably better off asking a, an engineer. But uh, because it has no miners, um, it, it sort of creates a graph, um, it, which um, is confirmed, you know, these, these are transactions being confirmed on a ledger in, in sort of a graph form. Um, and it allows it to be much faster and cheaper to confirm transactions than as compared to a blockchain. Um, and we chose we chose this at Ferrum Network um, because we wanted to focus on high speed financial applications, uh, and a, a blockchain is by nature not uh, you know, not not really high speed. So um, with Ferrum, you can confirm a transaction in milliseconds um, with uh, almost you know basically zero transaction fees which is you know not possible with the ethereum blockchain so they the bitcoin blockchain um, so that's why we chose it um i think you see a lot of other projects going that direction uh, we're just excited to be a part of the uh for a dag uh a ne next generation of, of dag brilliant thanks for that ian so uh while we're on the topic of ferrum you've mentioned financial applications there so could you tell us a little bit more about ferrum and what it is essentially 
Sure. So um, Ferrum is uh, an interoperability network. That means it can connect to other blockchains, uh, but we're focused on financial applications. So uh, that means uh, fiat gateways, exchanges, uh, non-custodial wallets. Um, and the the uh, first product we launch is a fiat to crypto exchange, a payments application based in Africa called Kudi Exchange. Um, and it's a live product. You can download it now on the Google Play Store coming to iOS next. Uh, with thousands of users on it's growing very fast. Um, we have other products in the pipeline, um, including a non-custodial wallet. We have staking coming. There's a lot of exciting things coming up, but um, it's really about, for us, uh, the value of blockchain and cryptocurrencies was in the financial um, realm. So basically empowering people who may not have had access to financial um, products or applications um, can now empower themselves with blockchain technology. That's that's our uh, our vision. Brilliant. That's that's great. Well, uh, so what are the latest developments and partnerships for Ferrum? I know it's been uh, very busy for the past few weeks. Yeah. So um, we've been hard at work um, after uh, the public sale, um, listing on a number of exchanges. Um, signing some key partnerships, uh, most notably with Dash. Uh, we'll be working with Dash in um, West Africa um, as we expand the Kudi application to merchants. Um, we'll, we'll be doing that in partnership with Dash. Um, we have a staking mechanism that's uh, in development now and will be launched in the next few weeks. Um, and, then, and then the next product that we'll be uh, launching is called Unifier Wallet. It's a non-custodial wallet, sort of similar to Trust, Trust Wallet, um, with some unique security features and um, risk-free over-the-counter trades. So we have a lot coming up. Um, a lot, they're very busy, uh, but we're uh, you know we're still we're still working here in this bear market. <laughs>